What is going on my fishing friends? We are out here on Mission Bay today doing that second episode of that after work series. I got some questions on fishing the deep diving crankbait this time of year. So that's what we're gonna be fishing. I'm pretty stoked. There's a seven foot high tide today. Uh, so it's a perfect time to get the big crankbait out over some of that deeper grass that you haven't been able to fish. And uh, I think it's gonna be really good. I've heard some reports that Mission Bay has been really slow, but I think we're gonna be here to prove that wrong today. Cast in on the deep crank. We're already hooked up on a good little spotty here. Came into Mission Bay and um, I heard the bite here was slow, but I was like, you know what? I think we can get on some fish. And within what, five or six casts in the morning, we hooked up real quick. Let's see if we can get this guy off real quick though. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Look at the size of the fish. You look at the size of this crankbait, and like, but they're still they're still gonna eat it. These fish are super, super aggressive for whatever reason. So let's get this guy in. Let's see who we can keep on getting some fish. He came up and hit this thing. That was nuts. I was cranking it down by the grass. I hit the grass, paused it, and then um, the bait kind of floated up. So I stopped it. Once I hit the grass and it was like stop and go, stop and go, and I started cranking real fast, and that's when it came up and hit it. Was when I was going really quick right up over the grass, which is not really what I was expecting for right now, but if that's what they want. I'm all right with it. again boom oh we are on the freaking bite guys this is it dude i mean cast second cast right after catching that one all right guys we just caught that first small one and next cast cast it out right up over the grass again and hooked up with this guy i'm gonna try to get him off without getting a hook in my finger here one thing i strongly dislike about Reaction baits, all the hooks in them, but that's a nice spotty right there. And check that out. Boom. I, I mean, I've been out here for, I've done maybe 10 casts now, and all the reports I've heard is uh, the bite's really slow in Mission Bay. The spotties aren't biting, but uh, there was like a seven foot high tide today, which is huge, so that should have shut them off. Or, Maybe it turned them on, I don't know, but so far we're up in the grass fishing 
that crankbait getting good little spotties right there. Whoops, got off there a little weird. All right, let's see if we can get up over the grass here again. So both those fish have been uh, like power cranking it through the grass. It hits the grass, I stop it, floats up a little bit, and then I just start, you know, ripping it around the grass and they're hitting it. Not on the pause, but on the rip up. So once I start casting up into this more shallow area, I'm gonna really slow it down. I mean, this reel is like a six to three, so it's not super high speed reel, but I gotta go a lot slower because I'm fishing the, you know, really deep diving crankbait. So it's probably 10 feet over top of the grass. This crankbait probably goes 18 feet. So I'm gonna hit right there, just kind of get these twitches. Yeah, see, it's not. It's gonna be much slower in the shallow stuff. On the pause, that was a good one. Super cool. Oh, we got a tugger. Oh, good one. Real good one. Boom. Check out that chunker. Real good. Deep crankfish. Fish. <coughs> oh. oh, that is a fat fish. Let's see if I can match with that real quick. We got six, 12, we're all 14 inches on that one. Boom. Right there on the deep crank. Such a nice fish. Let's get that guy back in the water. We got some big old actual weed line on the surface here. It's a bunch of grass that's been pulled out of the cove. Kind of gives me an idea where the current is coming through. It's all pushing right here. And I got a little bit of muddy water, so there might be some fish hanging out underneath it. it creates like natural shade, natural cover for them. It's normally like a, a technique I use in freshwater, but every once in a while apply, it applies pretty well in salt. Good sign right there. See some pelicans diving out. Let's go in the middle. Looks like they're they're moving right out there. Oh, there's a fish right there actually. Right where I was talking about on that weed line. It's dirt weed line. All right, check that out. Boom. That's a nice uh get out here. It's about a 13 inch. 13 inch spotty right there, still fishing. All I'm fishing is that deep diving crankbait, guys, to show it off for you. And boom, that is a nice freaking spotty. Boom. All right, this is turning out to be like a really good after work series, guys. I mean, we've not been fishing that long. Came out, I think I've gotten two 14 inch spotties. Oh, there was a bite right there. Got yeah, like a 14, a 13, maybe a 12 incher, and then like a little guy. So it's been pretty, pretty uh, good, especially for all the reports on how slow Mission Bay has been. This has been, you know, kind of hopefully a, an eye opener on how sometimes you just got to fish different techniques to get onto these fish. Even I, you know, I was kind of getting in a slump. I was fishing the swim bait a lot. I was fishing the little Ned rigs. 
and I was catching some fish. It wasn't so bad. It was like, you know, I, I really enjoy fishing different stuff, and I really enjoy catching fish different ways, and I'm glad that it was recommended by you guys to show you how to fish these because I might not have pulled them out today and wouldn't have been able to show it to you. Wouldn't have been able to catch these fish. Oh, there we go, right at the boat on the surface. Oh, that was so sick. I watched him come up under the boat and smack it, and he missed it. Oh, that was so cool. Let's go over what worked and what did not work today for the deep diving crankbaits. First, we fished it on a Lexa 300 with 65 pound braid, paired on a 7.6 custom crankbait rod that I made for fishing inshore with big crankbait. Throwing the Bill Norman DD22 in Nutter Shad because the water was pretty clear, so I was going for that more bait fish profile. What worked for the most part today was fishing out around the edge of the grass next to the channel and whenever it hit a patch of grass with the bait when it hit the bottom, I'd make sure to rip it out, let it float for a second, and then keep cranking. The fish didn't really want just that steady wind back to the boat. They wanted that a little bit of erratic action and that's when I was getting most of the bites. If you're looking to get out after work and you want to throw the deep dragging crankbait, make sure you're fishing around a deep channel, some deeper grass or structure, and I think you'll get bit. <laughs> 